All right guys, so I've never done this angle before and I have no idea what I'm doing. I have my stand like dangling on my desk. I have my mic on top of my head. I have lights everywhere. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna see. If something falls over during this trick, just disregard, disregard everything. What's going on guys, Card Mechanic here. And today I'm gonna be teaching you a card trick to really show off your card skills. Let's do it. So breaking this trick down, it's just a compilation of a lot of different moves that I put together to have a kind of magical effect while also showing off some card skills. So a couple moves I really recommend learning. One is the uh, flicker, uh, the other is the bullet, and another is instant replay, right? So these are the three moves that I start with. And they did take me a long time to learn, you know, all putting them all together. But I think if you break down each move, and really take out the time to learn it, you'll, it'll come off flawlessly. So starting off, you grab the top card and prepare, 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 prepare. So starting off, you grab the top card and prepare to do the flicker, right? And the way to actually do this, I'll break it down really quick for you. You grab the card between your index finger and thumb. You pull the card in like so. Your middle finger comes, reaches the other side of the card like so, put it here. You extend out your middle finger and index finger. Straighten that out so it looks like this now. You're gonna turn it so now your middle finger will go on the bottom, index finger will go on top. So you're gonna pretty much swap places there. And then come back in, grab with your thumb, release, in, uh, release the uh, middle finger, and continue that same process to get that flicker effect. Of course, there's a bunch more better tutorials on YouTube, but again, just for the sake of this video, we're just gonna do that really quick. And of course, you can also add in some wrist flicks to make it seem, you know, a bit cooler. All right, so we got that. Now the bullet is actually quite difficult to do. I did a whole tutorial on it. So if you wanna go check that out, you can do that. It did require me a couple weeks of practice to get it down. So pretty much what that looks like is you're gonna do start off with a Chinese deal. You have your um, mechanics grip, pull that card over, turn it like so. Right, you pull it over with the index finger, turn it like so. Uh, get this grip right here with your um, middle finger and index finger, index finger on top, middle finger on bottom, pull that card on top, and that's that's about it. From here, you're gonna take this card, put it on the bottom. Right, again, real quick tutorial, but check out the whole video. I have it somewhere on my channel. I'll put the link on the screen. So pretty much you're gonna put those moves together and do flicker while also doing uh, the bullet. And now from here, once that card is on the bottom, you get ready to do instant replay. And what that looks like here, I have a tutorial on it, hopefully on my channel somewhere. You have your middle ring pinky finger on one side, thumb on the other side. You're gonna push with your index finger, building pressure and getting that bend in the card like so. Then you're gonna release with your thumb and that card will go flying over. And of course, you'll have to get some practice down if you wanna actually get the card to land as intended on top of the deck. Right, so you get that card landing on top, and now the actual trick begins. That was just a showy, uh, showing, showing off, showy, showy off part. So from here, you move this card forward using your thumb, and you start spreading through the cards like this. And you want this card rested on top of your thumb as you spread through the cards. You don't want it grabbed here, otherwise when you slide the card down later, it's gonna be difficult for the card to slide if it's actually grabbed by the thumb. So you want this card resting on top of your thumb as you're spreading through the cards like so. Now let's say they say stop here. All you're gonna do really is tilt this hand that has the card on top of it. And the card actually easily goes to that location. All right? obviously don't go wild and do something like this, but it's actually a lot easier than it looks, right? So for example, we're here, uh, we're like this. It's actually very easy to get that card moved there. All right? so once that card's moved there, you're gonna turn it over, get a break under that card, and of course, this could be a visual break. It really doesn't matter. The spectator can see it. Grab a break under the card. Tell the spectator you're gonna lose it in the deck, but you want them to push the card in. So you go ahead and show the card to the spectator. It's the Ace of Hearts. You come over like this. And the next move we're gonna do is the Kelly bottom placement. So the way that works, you come here like this. And as you're turning your hand over, you're gonna use these three fingers, middle, index, that's not index, middle, ring, and pinky finger grab this card and slide it like so. This way you kind of have an opening here. This way you can slide this right underneath the deck. Right, so as you're doing the Kelly bottom, you're gonna come here like this. 
And now these fingers here are gonna come and grab the second card. So you're gonna make it seem like to the spectator that you're actually doing this, showing him Ace of Hearts, doing this, making that stick out, and the Ace of Hearts is there. But what you're actually doing is you're showing the Ace of Hearts, doing the Kelly bottom, pulling this card out, right? Pulling that card out like so, putting that there, and then on the bottom here, you're sliding that ace underneath the entire deck and squaring up, right? So up to speed, you show it like this, go here, slide this out, and now the card is moving to the bottom. One thing you wanna actually make sure of that you're not doing is when you're pushing this card in, it's actually, uh, if you don't know what you're doing, it's easy for the spectator to see something happening as you're moving the card here. So what I like to do is once I get into this position, I use these fingers to kind of grab and move this card underneath the deck instead of squaring up with this hand. Otherwise, there is a chance that the spectator will see that bottom card being moved. And of course, this is all being done while your dominant hand is covering the deck like so. This way the spectator sees nothing. Then you square that all up, tell the spectator to push that card in. And now the spectator believes the card is lost somewhere in the deck. Now the last step is shooting this bottom card out of the deck. Now, the way you're gonna do this is you're gonna grab a thumb break right above that bottom card. And the way I do that, come over with my pinky finger, grab that break right here. See if I can show you. Boom, grab that break like so. Put my thumb, transfer it to a thumb break. And now the way you're gonna shoot the card out is you're gonna build up pressure like this. Right, you're gonna build up pressure, have that card bend like so. You have your middle ring and pinky finger in the front of the deck. So that card pressure is really being built between your thumb and these three fingers. Your index finger is on top, curled on the deck. And all you're gonna do is build up pressure, build up pressure, and then release with these three fingers. And you'll see the card will come flying out like so. Now I do have a tutorial on this somewhere on my channel as well, so I'll put the link on the screen. But there's a lot of stuff you gotta learn in order to perform this trick. So while it is really cool and flashy, I would only recommend learning this trick if you wanna learn those individual moves or if you really, really just wanna show off. All right, now before clicking on that video, make sure to let me know what you guys thought of this angle down in the comments below. And if I should continue doing this angle, go back to the other angle, you know, just, just let me know. All right, now, now you can go click on that video. I'll see you there. Peace out.